Hello and welcome to the Kingpin Crime YouTube channel. On today's video is a man that had a heavy cartel involvement in Ireland and Spain, alleged to have committed countless crimes including arms trafficking, drug offences amongst many others, having received over 30 criminal convictions. A suspected gang leader in the crumbling Drimna feud and convicted of murder, this is the story of Freddie Thompson. Freddie Thompson was born in 1980 and grew up in the Maryland area of the south inner city of Dublin. He first came to the attention of police at 16, which was followed by a number of appearances in the children's court in 1997, for car theft and other motoring offences, until he was old enough to attend district court. More court appearances followed for assault charges, threatening and abusive behaviour, as well as damaging a police car. It was clear that he had made connections during his early years of crime, when it was discovered that the late gangland hitman Paddy Doyle had been with Thompson when he damaged the car. Later finding himself involved in the renowned Kinahan cartel, who were responsible for a variety of crimes including international drug smuggling and murder and alleged to have a £1 billion drugs network. He was the cousin of the well-known Liam and David Byrne, who like Thompson were also heavily involved in the Kinahan cartel and general criminality. David Byrne was killed at the infamous Regency Hotel shooting during a weigh-in for a boxing match organised by Daniel Kinahan, Christie's son. Thompson gained the reputation in the criminal underworld of Ireland, and even at such a young age he was given control of the Dublin branch of the Kinahan cartel, when the leader Christie Kinahan was imprisoned in 1998 for possession of stolen travellers checks, and is also alleged to have been kept in control after Christie's release, although the level of control Thompson had in the cartel has been disputed by some. Thompson was also reported to be one of the gang leaders involved in the brutal Crumlin Drimna feud, which is allegedly responsible for at least 16 murders to date, and was the result of a larger gang that had split, divided when one of the members were accused of being a police informant. During 2007 to 2008, he became involved in a feud with the Irish National Liberation Army, which resulted in him having to flee from Dublin multiple times. This resulted in the decision to promote his cousin Liam Byrne, who would gradually assume control of the Dublin operations of the gang. In 2008, he was located in Spain, working in the Spanish faction of the cartel. During his time in Spain, he was travelling in a four-wheel drive car with Paddy Doyle and Gary Hutch, who was the nephew of the famed Jerry Hutch, when they found themselves ambushed by gunmen, with the attack resulting in Doyle being shot and killed. Then, in May of 2010, up to 30 members of the Kinahan mob were arrested by Spanish police under Operation Shovel. And after returning to Ireland for a while, Thompson was arrested by Irish police and extradited to Spain in 2011. He was allowed to return to Spain two years later in 2013. The charges Spanish authorities alleged were unlawful assembly, drug charges, possession of weapons and arms trafficking. Claiming that he procured weapons for the organisation and the role that he played was as bodyguard, protection and a high level enforcer. During the investigation, Thompson submitted a statement of means claiming he had no income for his defence. Counsel for the state asked how Thompson had supported himself due to him not having received welfare, having no business registered for tax, yet still managing to travel around Europe. Thompson responded claiming that he'd been supported by his mother and the judge found his statement very unsatisfactory and refused free legal aid. In May 2014, he was arrested by Dutch police based on an international arrest warrant issued by Ireland. He was extradited from Amsterdam, and when he was arrested he was found in possession of false identity documents and a genuine passport, which had been doctored to match his ID. Despite being arrested for a number of investigations linked to the crumbling Drimna feud, Thompson managed to escape any gangland convictions related to it. In February 2015, however, Thompson was jailed for 20 months for a pub brawl. Thompson pleaded guilty at Dublin Circuit Criminal Court to violent disorder along with two other men at Morrissey's pub on Cork Street. Judge Martin Nolan said that Thompson had probably caused the brawl and that he had thrown a bottle at someone. He also described the brawl as quite a serious fracas in which many people were involved. His sentence was then backdated to the 23rd of May 2014, which was the date he was first remanded. After serving jail time for the offence, he managed to keep a relatively low profile following the outbreak of the Hutch-Kinahan feud. 
at Oil Change in 2016 when he was alleged to have been tasked by a senior cartel associate with orchestrating the murder of David Douglas. Douglas from Cabra, North Dublin, was shot dead outside a shop on Bridgefoot Street on the afternoon of the 1st of July 2016. The father of one was standing in the doorway of a shop owned by his wife when he was approached and shot multiple times. Thompson was then charged with the murder the following November and after a long trial on the 30th of August 2018, Thompson was convicted of the murder and received a life sentence, being held at a top security prison and he remains behind bars today. This concludes the story of a prominent figure in the criminal underworld of Ireland. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.